Thank you so much, Coach. They told me to make sure I say nice things about Coach Patterson, and as soon as I can think of him, I will do that. <laughs> I'll get to I'll get to him in a minute. He's obviously had a profound impact on on my life. So uh, I just want to begin by uh, congratulating uh, the other inductees uh, for their honor. This is fun. It's going to be fun to hear from you and uh, hear your story a little bit. I will try to make this uh, as brief as possible. But uh, congratulations on, on your day. Um, I want to begin by introducing my family here really quick. Uh, Lori, my wife, my daughter, eight-year-old daughter right there, Nora Jane. Um, and then we have family here. Um, we have my uh, wife's parents, Steve and Phyllis Beattie, and many of you know Steve had an, an incredible uh, uh, record of service here at, uh, at Taylor University. And then um, uh, Jerry and Sherry Molesky and Micah, Molesky, who is going to be a graduate uh, from Taylor University. I believe we're on course for graduation, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, this year. So uh, congratulations. Or it's, it's great to have them here and, and uh, a part of, of this day. Um, I'll, I'll move uh, qu quickly here along so we can hear from the others. But um, uh, I'm humbled and honored, as, as many of the uh, Hall of Fame inductees, I'm sure, feel the same way, and those that are in the Hall of Fame uh, feel it is a, it is an honor, and it's it's humbling uh, to be to be in this position. And I certainly feel like that to be uh, the head coach at, at Ohio State. Uh, I feel incredibly blessed to be uh, at this place, and I recognize that that uh, I would not be in this place without uh, an incredible. Uh, uh, time here, education, coach mentioned two years here, and then I was an assistant coach for him for five years, and it was really formative for me uh, in so many ways. Um, I, I want to, you know, we have a sign in our uh, offices and locker room, and this is, uh, Jeff will know this from, from Butler, um, and it really, uh, I, this came to mind most when I thought about what I wanted to share briefly here today, and it is uh, great teams have great teammates. Great teams have great teammates. And I, I had some incredible teammates. And, and uh, you know, when we've been a part of a team, I've, I've always, uh, any good team we've been a part of, it's been uh, because of the really special people. And I have a few of them here, so I would just like to uh, make mention of, of them uh, and maybe share just a quick story uh, Micah Newhouse, I played uh, with Micah Newhouse for just one year, and uh, he had a tremendous influence on me. Um, uh, the, the, the most impactful story with him was when we were up, I believe, 10 or 12 in a game, and uh, we were not uh, playing the kind of defense that certainly Coach Patterson wanted, uh, and, and Micah as well. And I remember him coming back down the, the, the court with veins popping out of his neck, screaming. He, Micah could get this red tint when, when he was uh, not happy and just screaming. And I think at that moment, that imparted to me kind of what our program w was about, uh, a level of competitive excellence uh, that he was about. And um, I, I took that from me. Uh, for, for even into my coaching days. Uh, Mark Dorsler is here with his son. Uh, Mark Dorsler has uh, uh, some of, set some of the hardest screens and the most illegal screens in practice <laughs> that I've ever uh, experienced. And he has bony elbows, and we used to run into him, and I ran into him three consecutive times in practice. And I said, the next time he screams, screens me, I'm going to come around, and I'm going to punch him as hard as I can in the gut. And that's what I did. I don't know if you felt that or not, but, but he was an incredible, incredible teammate. Jim Pope was my roommate here, and Jim uh, was, um, uh, he, he is an incredible story um, and has, you know, one of the all-time great players here. I know his future induction is not far along. 
but he is, he's a, re, you know, uh, Jim and I, I love this, Jim came to one of our games last year at Ohio State, and he said that he's had, uh, you know, he, he will share with people that he, we were college roommates, and he has a lot of people that say to him, hey, did you, tell me, you know Chris Holman, right, he's the coach at Ohio State, and he says, yeah, and he goes, did you ever see this with, with, with Chris, that he was going to go and be the head coach at places like Butler and Ohio State? Did you, did you see that in him at an early age, see this, this potential? Uh, you, you knew he was going to – he was like, no. He's pretty, just, pretty much just a normal, ordinary guy. I didn't see much potential in him at all when I was rooming with him. And um, so I appreciate Jim saying that and sharing that story with me. Um, Tim Taylor uh, uh, and Steve Mazingo are here, and I'll quickly go to the last couple stories. Tim Taylor, uh, I roomed with him, and uh, one, one day after a particular difficult game where I was benched by Coach Patterson, uh, thanks, Coach, um, I went back and before Tim had gotten to the room, and I was upset, and I absolutely tore up our, our dorm room. Sorry, Tim. Um, and, and Tim was an incredible teammate dur during that moment. And then the last one is Steve Mazingo, who uh, is, is a Hall of Famer here. And Steve uh, was an incredible player. And uh, Steve uh, went off on me one day in practice and probably scored 35 points. And I just can still hear him cackling after practice in the locker room, talking about those memories. Uh, of, of him going off. He's, he's clearly one of, one of the best players I've ever played with. And I think uh, that, that helped me as a player. I was never the best player uh, on any team I played on. And I think when you're not the best player, you have to figure out a way uh, to make your, your team better. And that's, that's certainly uh, what I tried to do. Um, and then uh, last person I just want to uh, thank is uh, is my college coach, who uh, he, he is the reason in many ways that, that I am uh, where I'm at today. Uh, every uh, uh, moment of success that I've had in the coaching profession, I'm indebted to, <clears throat> to Coach Patterson. Um, <clears throat> last thing I'll, I'll leave you with is, is a quote that our, our players know this. It's one of my favorite quotes, and I share it with them often. Um, and it's by Martin Luther King Jr. and uh, it is life's most persistent and urgent question is what are you doing for others? And I'm fortunate that I worked at uh, and played at a university where that was modeled for me on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, from the uh, service towels that we get at commencement to a coach who every time I needed him post-graduation uh, on the phone, he was there for me. Uh, to my father-in-law, who committed, uh, who modeled service uh, in a in a special way. To incredible parents, um, that question has been answered uh, for me in a resounding way. And uh, thank you so much for uh, being a part of this day. And again, congratulations to the inductees.